Hi, I'm Mike Boyle, and today we're going to talk a little bit about adding a conditioning component to the end of your workout, what some people might look at as workout finishers. When you're done, in the weight room, you're not done. I think that's maybe one of the big primary mistakes that a lot of athletes make. Everybody likes the weight training part, the strength training part, the look good in the mirror part. Maybe people don't want to go and do their conditioning. When you're done, the simplest thing that you can do in something that we're doing twice a day, we are running what we would call tempo runs. What we're going to use is a distance as much as we have. So depending, obviously, we've got a fairly large room here. We can get what's going to amount to probably about a 40-yard tempo run. We're going to basically stride up. We're going to walk back. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to go and take our cones, and we're going to set them as far apart as we can. On this end, our start end, we're going to go right tight. When we go down on the far end down here, we're going to look and set it. Obviously, here we've got some cages in the way. Normally, we're going to move that cage out of the way. We're going to set the next cone about 10 yards short of the wall. Obviously, here. So we'd be 10 yards short of the wall. So we've got room to decelerate. We're basically going to stride up, walk back, stride up, walk back. And in the simplest sense, what we're thinking about is we want what we would call a sprint motor pattern. That means we want you getting into hip extension. I'm not, I don't want you to jog. I would go so far as to say never jog. I wouldn't jog to warm up. I would, I would just not do it because it's not a motor pattern you want to get your body used to. These are not sprints. And I think that's the thing you've got to understand when we talk about conditioning or workout finishes or however you want to look at it. We're not going to go and do a bunch of sprints. We're not going to go and do a bunch of races. We're not going to have people pulling hamstrings at the end of their workouts. We're going to be in that 70 to 80% range where you can run and then simply Add time. So we might say, okay, you're going to do that for 10 minutes. Stride up, walk back, stride up, walk back. So we are either in that stride pattern, something that looks not like a full sprint and not like a jog, or we're in a walk pattern. We're never really going to be in that jog pattern. So we're thinking stride, walk, stride, walk, stride, walk, keep adding volume. I'm Mike Boyle. We'll have more strength and conditioning tips for you next week in this weekly series.